So David, you've seen a lot of, or you have a lot of students. So what tips you have in terms of resumes and cover letters? We know that it's very important to customize every resume you send to every job because it's different. So what are some of the highlights that you've given to students? Yeah, so the first thing is that your resume is not gonna get you a job. Mm -hmm. It's not enough to have a resume anymore. It, it's part of your of your of the artifacts that you have mm -hmm. to uh, promote yourself and your brand. But the resume alone is not going to give you a job. The way I see resumes is resumes are great uh, tools for you to develop self awareness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because when you think about your work history, the problems that you have solved the contributions that you have made, the results that you have gotten, the accomplishments that you have, and you put those, put those into paper, you are collecting content that will help you prepare for a job interview. Mm -hmm. The interview is what's gonna help you the job or it's gonna prepare you to collect content to talk mm -hmm. to someone at a network in a networking opportunity, yeah? So see the resume as, an, as a tool for self-awareness. Mm -hmm. The problem with the resume is that, again, if you don't, okay, so you can start with a master document, okay? depending on the field that you are interested in. Mm -hmm. Start, for example, go to a job board. So say, for example, like you are looking for a business analysis uh, position. Yeah? Go to job boards and find five different job postings that are related to business analysis. Mm -hmm. Yes, Identify patterns. So if there is a specific software of skills that is repeated throughout the postings, you know that that's something that the industry is looking for in the person that they hope, in the people that they hire. Yeah. And if you don't have that, you need to start up to find a way to start developing that skill. Yeah. If you do have it, then you have to make sure that it's on your resume. So you do that to start matching what you do have with what the industry is looking for, mm -hmm. right? But you don't have, again, you start looking for ways to develop. You talk to people. So now that you meant, we mentioned before LinkedIn. So you, yeah. you talk to people, say, for example, other business analyst junior that started their process like you maybe mm -hmm. a year ago, two years ago. And you have conversations with them and ask them those questions. What are some of the skills that you needed to develop yourself to be more competitive in this industry? What skills do I have to develop based on what they say? Again, do I have that already on my resume or do I have to do some work extra to do some extra work in order to strengthen that ability? And if you do, then you do it. There's LinkedIn learning. As a student, you have access to that in most post-secondary uh, post secondary institutions in Ontario. Right. You access to LinkedIn learning. Uh, you go to Coursera, you go to YouTube. Yes. There's yeah. so many ways that you, where you can um, uh, build that, that experience uh, or the, uh, acquire at least fundamentals of those skills. Mm -hmm. And then you can start to uh, keep, you know, putting your, doc your documents together mm -hmm. um, according to that. Very important, like you said, that you are um, submitting documents that are customized, customized to the jobs that you're applying to. Yeah. A generic resume generates a generic response, which is a no. Now, the problem with resumes is that because there's so much competition, yeah. it's not five people applying to one job or 10 or 20, it's hundreds, hundreds of people hundreds. applying to a position. Yeah. So most likely your resume will never get to touch human hands because it will get lost in the shuffle yeah. in the ATS system. So it never gets to touch human hands. And when that happens and your only strategy to look for work is relying only on your resume. Mm. So you send 200 resumes a month how many calls for interviews you're going to get? One, maybe One, two. two. So, it's not a, so it's not effective. Yeah. And when that happens and you say, oh my God, I applied to 200 jobs. Nobody's calling me. Yeah. Your confidence drops. So you start doubting your abilities. Oh my God, my resume is terrible. <laughs> yeah, my resume is terrible. My experience is not valid. The experience that I brought in my home country, home country is not valid. And, when that, and then you, your confidence drops. No, it's not that your resume is bad. It's that your resume never gets done to touch yeah, human hands. Because recruiters have six seconds to read a resume, like very quickly. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so then you have to make sure that, again, if, you, if, if, if that document gets in someone's hand, then you have to captivate the reader in those six seconds. Yes. So you have to make those, you have to ask yourself those questions. Put yourself in the employer's shoes. If I was the employer, Mm -hmm. Right. If I if I manage for this business analyst position and I got this resume in my hands from this from this person, will I call them for an interview? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Ask yourself those questions. Assess yourself and the things that you're doing. If yes, okay, perfect. Then submit that. Or connect with people so that you can so those people inside those companies can mm -hmm. help them push your resume or give the resume to yeah. someone. If you say, you know what, like this is so generic, this is not doing any justice. 
to the great experience that I have and the skills, you need to do some work on your documents, okay? But I see it more as a, as a tip, as a tool for self-awareness. Make sure that you, you know, that your statements look like accomplishments, accomplishments yes. and results Result. rather than mere job descriptions. Yeah. Those are show, exactly. Show people what you can do. Don't tell them. Yeah. Because nobody cares about yeah. that you have excellent communication skills. Don't say that I trained people. I said I trained people in two months and it resulted in reducing turnover. Put exactly, numbers. exactly, exactly. So, you know, those those things and, and and you know from from a design perspective, your eye is drawn to that stuff, percentages, yeah. numbers, all that stuff, right? So that's the first thing. With cover letters are interesting. I love cover letters. Mm -hmm. I, love, I know a lot of people don't. I love cover letters because again, it's a great opportunity for you to tell a story yeah. that is related to a job that you're applying to. So you want to make it, you want to customize it as well. And you want to, the cover letter is great. The resume is very, it's a very rigid document. Mm -hmm. the, the cover letter is an opportunity that you have to talk from your, yeah. from the heart. Yes. Right. So maybe think about stories that are related to those fields or those jobs that you're applying to mm -hmm. and how you got uh, the inspiration or the motivation to uh, apply to those roles, a story that is completely related to the uh, those positions you're applying to, make it concise as well, maybe two or three pa three paragraphs, yeah. uh, four paragraphs tops, yes, um, and make sure that it's customized as well. You yeah. can, again, you can have a master cover letter, right, but depending on the job, you will have to change that story. Yeah. You know what I mean? I love cover letters because, again, it, it helps you Gives you more with, insight about yourself. Yeah, and also it helps you showcase your communication abilities in writing as well. Yeah, those are great tips, David. Thank you. Again, as you said, cover letter should not be a copy of your resume. It has stories, what you can bring to the table, what's your value, because at the end, you're there to help the employer solve a problem. I'm here exactly. to help you add value. Exactly. They hire you. When people hire you, it's because they need someone to help them solve something. Yes to may help them make their life easier, right? So is your letter, is your resume, is your LinkedIn profile, are they telling the people, the, 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 uh, telling people, hey, give me a chance because I will help you make your life easier. Yes. Okay, so think about those things. Yeah, those are great tips, David. Thank you very much. And Thank again, you. Thank for you so the much. audience watching, listening, if you have any other tips for resumes or cover letters, please leave comments below and tune in next time for other great questions with David.